Welcome back to another episode of This Is Africa. This week, we're gonna be hanging out with one of my buddies, Steve Kill. Steve is a problem animal control wildlife officer here in Africa. And he's got a lot of interesting stories with the local people and the local wildlife. So without further ado, let's see what this is about. Swift Bullet Company presents This is Africa. A lot of people watch National Geographic and they see hyenas in Tanzania. You have to bear in mind that in that scenario in a national park, there's a high competition for food, especially with lions and other prime predators. So because of that factor, they don't necessarily get as big. But when you move into a village scenario or onto a farm, then your hyenas for generations have been eating very specifically livestock and cattle, which are very easy to kill and then they end up becoming enormous in size. And I have shot quite a number that weigh over 100 kgs, which is about 220 pounds. And whenever I talk about it, people think I'm lying, but I'm sure you'll see the pictures and see that that actually is the truth. So yeah, they do grow exceptionally large, especially in village and farming communities where they have become the prime predator. So I've been doing problem animal control for 34 years now. People get killed by hyenas uh, quite frequently and if you don't take care of the problem, it just means there's going to be more death and more suffering. I decided to come out with a gentleman by the name of Steve Curl. Uh, he also goes by the Hyena Hitman. And uh, we've come out for some, some hyena problem control. So basically what happens is these hyenas get very comfortable living in villages and start attacking the people's livestock and they actually become a a bit of a threat to the human life of these villages and Steve is a professional hunter and he comes out and takes care of these of these problem animals not only hyenas but actually animals across the board uh, so Steve correct me if I'm wrong are we are we just basically getting rid of a, a problem bef before it comes really serious I think as from a livestock point of view the problem is already very serious prevention is better than cure we want to try and take out these animals before they actually start preying on humans uh, there have been a lot of attacks on humans in recent uh, months by hyenas and we want to make sure that doesn't happen in this case. So oh, hopefully we'll get there in time to set up and uh, make a plan. Uh, we are racing against time. It's already 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It gets dark at about 6. So we're going to have to set up pretty quickly. Um, there's also rain. It's, um, it's the rainy season now here in Africa. So put that foot down, brother. Let's get uh, there. I'm pushing it. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to be raised here in rural Africa. So anytime that there's a story that involves local village people, wildlife, all mixed into one, I'm always really excited to find out more about what's going on and it's always very interesting to me. This is the hill right here on the left here. So we're trying to see in conjunction where the coal site is going to be located versus where the den site is. We need the wind in our favor having a very clear field of fire so that we're not endangering lives with the gunfire. Are you hungry, Steve? Very. You're missing a nice sunset. <laughs> Have a look at the field of fire. It's outstanding. Here in Africa, hyenas have always been regarded with some sort of mystery and, and, and witchcraft and uh, there's a lot of superstition behind the hyena. So, it's one of those animals that's always got a few stories that might be true, might not be true. Always a very interesting animal here in Africa. So we're setting up just behind us, but um, I'm going to come and have a little chat to the village ladies and see what the story is about the hyenas here. Yes, Ambuya. Hey, Maga Simba, I am Zulu. Zulu Simba. Yeah. What do you say? Zulu Simba. Oh. Hey. Zulu Simba, bere kunok. I am a bere ariko. Ariko, ma bere. Sure. Hey, ariko. No famba, no kuka chifamba. Ariko, hey, I am a bere. Kana famba ne umiru, ma ariko. Ariko. Uma, 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 uma,
Ah, This is Africa is brought to you by African Sporting Creations. The bullet, the least expensive, most important part of your hunt. It's the only contact you have with the animal. Swift bonded core technology provides great accuracy, controlled expansion, high weight retention, and deadly terminal performance. Swift A-frame, Chiraco, and the new breakaway solid, all bullets without equal. Available in components and loaded ammunition. Contact swiftbullets.com for product availability. This is Africa is brought to you by the Houston Safari Club Foundation. The problem hyenas on farms and in villages normally start moving around once the area settles down for the evening. So once everyone goes inside their huts or houses at about eight, nine, that's when they, they tend to be on the loose uh, within in between housing and uh, by the cattle cross because they know that the people are asleep. So just getting set up quickly because you're running out of time. Bambelix. The new Pulsar XP50 LRF on the 338 Winmeg, uh, Swift A frame 250 grain. Then on this side we've got 300 Winmeg, going to be using 180 grain Swift A frames, and we're going to put a front Pulsar attachment unit on there shortly, and then you can see what it looks like. I'm using the Pulsar equipment because I find like it's got the best of everything that it can offer. You've got to bear in mind what I'm doing tonight. I'm trying to take out animals that are a threat to life. That being the case, if I'm going to use anything, I want to use something that gives me uh, the best visible chance to shoot. It's got the best optics for the, the thermal and the night vision. Uh, it gives me the best opportunity to get rid of the threat. So obviously I'm going to use the best that I can get, which is Pulsar. From the local knowledge that we've got, if you have a close look, there's a homestead right immediately to our left and a lot along the hill. As far as we can tell, uh, the den seems to be just on top of this hill, which is about a thousand yards away and we're going to try call them down in front of us and see if we can make a plan. Uh, what we're trying to do is figure out exactly where the hyena stay on the hill and then use the speakers to blanket the whole hill so we get them coming down this side. And we've got to start calling relatively early so they come to us instead of going into the village. I think I'm going to try and see if any can shoot straight. We'll put them on the Thermion. It's made for beginner shooters to experience so hopefully you can get, do that very well. And then I'll be backing up if need be on the digital night vision. So let's see how that works. All right, guys, well, the sun is going down, or down already, should I say, and uh, darkness is about to be upon us. So we're going to go into Pulsar 
thermal mode. We're going to attempt to film this whole thing with pulsar uh, devices. So here we go. One, two, three, darkness and action. Folks, we have sound. We have sound. I won't lie, I'm a little nervous right now. Under the pressure of the village and Uncle Steve. Growing up, I did a lot of hunting and was often the man behind the trigger. But more recently, I've been the man behind the camera. So being behind the trigger again, it's very, very nerve wracking. I do feel a little bit rusty. I am feeling the pressure of the village. So let's hope this goes okay. Turn that on, the front button, yeah? Just have a look through. Have a look, tell me if it's clear enough for you. Yeah, Steve, it's nice and clear, hey? Uh, these pulsars, they're magic. So that's why we use them. I can see all the houses up on top of the hill as well. And the little hut. Have a look through mine, just make sure the night vision is also. Yeah, I've got the video as well on mine that's playing. So tell Let's me, see. Steve. It's recording. Are we... When am I shooting? When I get to the, to the speaker or before or... Or we just play it by ear? I'll have to call it. I'm going to also use the thermal scanner, the, the Axion, and I'll hopefully be able to call your shots. So it depends where the hyenas are, then we'll talk through it. Eh? All right, I got you, buddy. I have two main types of calls I use. One is a territorial challenge. The other one is hyenas killing a prey animal. Uh, in both cases, the matriarch will come in first normally because, number one, if it's territorial challenge, she wants to know who's in her area and it's a voice she doesn't recognize. And then also if it's the, the hyenas killing a prey animal, she wants to know why she's not involved. So she comes rushing in to rule the roost, so to speak. If the, if the hyena hear the caller, they immediately respond and come running in. There is no delay. Uh, and you'll be surprised at how fast and how hot they come running in. Heard something? Do you hear it? They ran out there. The, the. That's it. You hear it? Yeah. Okay. I might turn on. I do feel a little bit rusty. I am feeling the pressure of the village. And the noise of this caller is also helping to create a bit of chaos in my brain. So let's hope this goes okay. There's one there already. They're coming. They're coming. You push your cord. I am. Yeah, right in front. Two of them. Three of them. Okay, I'm getting on the caller. There's four. Okay, let me get ready. Don't let them go. Shh, 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 shh. They're suspicious. Hyenas are definitely not the most easy of targets because they're always moving in and out, especially in a situation like this where they're hyped up. Which one are you on? And they're all moving. There's one standing looking right at you. Should I try him? I don't know which one you are. Just wait. This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. I hunt for conservation. I hunt for tradition. I hunt for empowerment. I hunt for the challenge. I hunt for the adventure. And I hunt for me. This is Africa is brought to you by Pulsar. You want to try and shoot the matriarch first. Uh, obviously, if you're trying to eradicate them, you want to shoot as many as possible. So if you shoot the matriarch first, then the other Aino are in a bit of a confused state. Uh, and then you manage to uh, fire a few more shots and kill more of the Aino that actually come in. Two on the right, three on the right. They're coming, they're coming. 
this for? Which one are you on? Uh, the closest one. Which is the big yellow one. If you stop, you're going to smoke him. It's coming in front. Yeah, good morning. Oh, that's the match right this way. Smoke him. Wait. Wait. Every time I'd, I'd start to, to get my squeeze on, the hyenas would move again. So it really, really wasn't easy for me. One standing perfect, cheaper. Wait, wait, I'm starting to stop. It's going to back to you. Should I shoot him in the... No, wait for a side check. It's going to stop now. Hit him, hit him in through the shoulder. Wait, 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 the one, the closest to the speaker I'm on? The one, the one right in front of the tree, right in front of us. And then all of a sudden the hyenas all started running away and I thought, you know what, I've really messed this one up. You know, I'm not even going to get a shot off. So all of a sudden I was regretting not pulling the trigger. Hold on. Far right four, the one at the back. And let them go away. Wait, they're going to come back. Yeah. They're going to come back. Quite far. They're going to come back. Just let, let them get closer. Distances are cut. Okay, yeah, hold on. Hold, hold on, buddy. Let them get. Let them come back. Okay. I don't want them to run off. Eh? I'm coming in. Eh? Uh -huh. can, okay. can I try that one sitting? No. We hit the ground. The one right behind us is bigger. Okay, the far left one, standing looking at you. The last thing I wanted to do was to make a bad shot and, and miss the hyenas and then they all run off and then what have I done for the village? Nothing. So I, I wanted to make sure of my shot. Uh, my heart was pounding like crazy. I was nervous. I just decided to wait until I was sure of my shot being on target. from the left. Coming in now. The yellow one, the one in front. Okay, I can't, I can't yeah. distinguish. Hold on. The one in front coming to the speakers. Okay. To the speakers now. Sitting down. The one that's going. Okay, you hit it. It's running left, running right. And then down. Get down, just wait there. Stay on him, he moves it. Stay on him. I know from, from the footage of the Pulsar products that you're watching, it looks like, you know, we could see what was going on and, and whatnot. But as soon as you take your eye away from that device, that Pulsar device, you, it, we could not see anything. It was completely pitch black. So it was a little bit chaotic, I must admit, but uh, very exciting nonetheless. Not finding it. Breathe by this, by this rock. Boy by the rocks. Left about 10 o'clock. 10? 10, we live in here. Yeah, Andy was using the 338. The 338 had set specifically at the distance to the speakers, which is about 80 meters. And I know I was standing at, I believe, 251. Steve, let me shoot him, man. I'm um, going to whack him. No, the distance is too much. Let me just pick him up. Put him on him. Doesn't matter. It's too far. <sighs> Trust me. This is Africa is brought to you by Right On Optics. The Houston Safari Club is for anyone who likes to hunt. It's for the love of the outdoors. It's to give all of us as individuals a voice. Ever wanted to hunt whatever, wherever in the world, somebody in the club has done it and can point you in the right direction. We have met some of our very close friends through Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. I love the Houston Safari Club. Join the Houston Safari Club Foundation to increase your knowledge of the hunting world.
This is Africa is brought to you by Swift Bullet Company. I had the 300 Win Mag, which I know I've already set at 200, so I know there wouldn't be any bullet drop. So in order to make sure of the kill, I decided to use the 300 and told Andy not to use the 338. Can you see him? Yeah, behind the tree. Yeah. If you tell me I've got a chest, I'll whack him. Okay. Well, he's yeah, he's behind him. the tree. Wait, you can't get him. You can't get him. It's just... There's gun will reach there. I want him now. Just film him. <laughs> I can hit him behind the shoulder. Okay. Shot. Is he yeah. down? Yeah. Did you stay there? He's down. It's 250 meters. There you go. He's flopping it up. Yeah, I see him. He's behind the tree for me. I could not actually believe the, the, the quality of, of what I was seeing. And, you know, finally I've managed to get my hands on some of this gear and it is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, anyone who's hunted hyenas at night knows that if you turn on a flashlight, they run. It just goes to show that in pitch darkness, we can now hunt. We can double our hunting time. Hunt in the daytime and at night time. So it's really incredible. Um, yeah, it's uh, Pulsar products are actually available in South Africa as well at the moment uh, through Ultra Nexus. So, yeah, thanks. Big up to Ultra Nexus. Awesome guys. Yeah, Steve, a good job, eh? Well done, your first hyena as well, in yeah? Yeah, I know, for sure. My and, uh, first hyena, the big girl in the middle here. Super yeah, proud of that. Yeah, very big. Yeah. Uh, see, it seems like uh, I, can, I can shoot straight every now and then, so that's pretty cool. On occasion, eh? Yeah, thanks, Steve. You've taught me a lot. And, uh, yeah, keep up the good work you do and saving lives, really. No, it's good. I just want to say, uh, You'll have a look at the footage. It's Andy's first time using the Pulsar products. What I like is they're very intuitive, very easy to use. And as you can see, a first time guy going out, he can meet with success if he's got the right kit. So yeah, Pulsar definitely, that's the way to go. 100%, uh, you know, we called twice and on the third time they came in, four of them. Uh, they came in quietly, which is not normal. Um, and, you know, to be honest, I was really nervous in the beginning and it was, it was, it was I wasn't confident of my shot, so I didn't make one. And I waited, and Steve was very patient with me. And uh, I, you know, I waited until my heart had slowed down a bit, and I was I was ready to make a a clean shot. And I did. Uh, she went down, and then she got up, tried to try to get out of there, and put another one in. And that was that was the end of her, pretty much. And then a little bit later, another one came back in, um, and Steve whacked. Whacked him, I think that's a little that's male. A male yeah. Males are smaller than females. Um, and then she started running straight towards us and I had a shot. Uh, and we ended up finding her and then eventually, lastly, the another one came in and it was at a really long distance. So Steve, yeah, what, you far. used the... 300 wind mag. 300 wind mag, Yeah, sorry. with the, the front attachment pulsar and the shot's just over 250 meters, which is quite outstanding for a night vision and, and products like that. So yeah, pulsar is the way to go. For sure, and our, our old grannies over there in the in the house will be very happy very that happy, they yeah. they don't have to worry too much about hyenas. Yeah. Uh, it's it's always impossible to get rid of all of them. Uh, they're really intelligent animals, so once you kind of call once, they, they do learn. So um, there there will still be one or two around, but it's not a, a full frenzy pack, which yeah. is great. The other thing is, if you shoot the matriarch, it upsets him for a while, and the attacks decrease significantly. So. By shooting the matriarch first, yeah. that was the way forward. That's well done. Yeah. Well, the village will be very happy, and thank you very much, Stephen. You're welcome. Good shooting. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yep. What an exhilarating feeling being the man behind the trigger. Folks, if you want to be the man behind the trigger in Africa, get hold of me, www.tia5.com, and we'll put something together for you right here in Africa. Folks, we'll see you here next time on the Sportsman's Channel. Next time on This Is Africa. Andy and the Hyena Hitman investigate a hyena attack on three villagers, shedding light on the ever-increasing conflicts between man and spotted hyenas.